Hello, my name is Fatem Zarar Riyahi, and this presentation is about PV sizing of a grid connected solar carpet system linked to charging stations in its economic analysis. This research is carried out within the scope of the Africa Europe Bioclimatic Collaboration for the 21st Century Project. The outline of the presentation include a background about the national energy sector, photovoltaic solar carpets, methodology and results, and a conclusion. Looking at some statistics about the national energy sector, the years between 2011 and 2013 marked the large energy import bills between eight and $10 billion, mainly from crude oil and petroleum, and particularly from coal and natural gas. Also, the yearly electricity demand, it is estimated to increase by more than 6.5%. To respond to these challenges, investing in renewable energy sources is a potential solution. And the following case study targets this goal through designing a photovoltaic solar carpet, which is based on a simple principle, yet it has many benefits. It is composed of a solar panels mounted on the top of a steel structure, which have a tilted roof of 10 degrees. So many parkings are taken over large areas. Therefore, it would be beneficial to utilize that space and install solar carpets and also link them to the charging stations for energy production and charging the electric cars. There are three types of solar carpets, the monopitch, the duopitch, and the barrel arc. This case study is conducted on the basis of installing a monopitch solar carpet for its potentials to attain higher energy production in addition to providing natural drainage. In this case study, the carpets are linked to the utility grid. Looking at the methodology and results, the methodology is based on the following process of five steps, which, which starts by determining the daily energy demand, which is of 65 kilowatt hour per day, which accounts for the supply of three electric cars, each of battery capacity of 22 kilowatt. Since the PV system must supply higher AC load, the system voltage is then 48. The number of solar panels needed is 102, calculated with the first equation, and based on SAM analysis, we obtained the daily average solar irradiance as shown by the graph, and the PV array power output is 64.44 kilowatt. The performance of the PV system is affected with the type of connection between the solar panels, either in series or in parallel. For this, the number of panels connected in series and in parallel is 2 and 51 according to the equations on the slide. And to have insight about the monthly and the yearly fluctuations of the PV system energy production during its lifetime, with the software SAM, the energy produced during the first year is 42,150 kilowatt hour, that is degraded by 0.5% every year to reach 37,092 kilowatt hour at the end of the useful lifetime of the PV array, as shown by the graph on the slide. The installed inverter is a central one that is connected to multiple solar strings and has an, an integrated AC and DC disconnect switches. The power rating of the inverter is calculated by the equation on the slide and it is equal to 81.25 kilowatt. There are three types of the power meters. The selected electricity meter is a bidirectional one. Uh, it shows the amount in kilowatt delivered, received, the net amount, in addition to the instantaneous demand in voltage and current. For wiring, we use copper wires of 220 millimeters square to link the PV array and the central inverter and wires of 25 millimeters square between the inverter, AC control panel, and the charging points, and wire with the same cross-section to link between the grid and the power meters. To have insight about the economic potentials of the system, the following uh, economic analysis was made. Initially, the capital investment was calculated as shown on the table on the slide and it is 518,000 Moroccan dirhams. To have insight about the total cost of owning and operating the solar carpet system, we look at the life cycle cost expressed with the first equation. 
The lifetime of the PV models is 25 years, while for the inverter is only 10 years. Therefore, an extra two groups of inverters should be purchased after 10 and 20 years. Their present worth is calculated with the second equation. And the third equation expresses the present worth of the operation and maintenance. With this data, the life cycle cost is 902,470 Moroccan dirhams. The levelized cost of energy, LCOE, is determined using the software SAM. Through inserting the necessary data, the LCOE is 1.23 Moroccan dirhams per kilowatt hour. And the payback period is an important indicator for the economic potentials of the system. As it is explained by the table on the slide, the payback is estimated to be 7.5 years. Finally, it is interesting to account for how much the designed PV carpet mitigates CO2 emissions. This amount is determined by the equation shown on the slide, and it is estimated to be 657,000 uh, 347 kilograms. Conclude, the solar carpet PV system contribute to clean energy production and help in reducing CO2 emissions. And thus it is contributing to the sustainability in the transportation uh, sector. Furthermore, the results of the analysis performed in this research can further be applied in other PV sizing applications. And this is the list of the references used in this case study. And thank you.